Welcome to Factorio once again. Ah, uh, I forgot to, lo to load the last session, so I might just tell you what you what I did. So I made all of these furnaces. Start that out. I uh, I expanded this. Just placed a little bit of copper. Got some more of these going. Some of these will never run out. And I expanded this a good bit. I also had three more right here. That's all I did. Then I looked at my recording, realized that uh, we ain't got time for this, or that uh, I wasn't recording, and realized that I messed up. So yeah. Fun. Oh well. Okay. Alright. I'll just go ahead and finish this off. This should create a full line. If I'm not mistaken. This is a full red belt. I just realized what I did wrong. Got it. All right. Why hello there. And y yeah, I'm doing Factorio and recording it. The heck you want? No. Sitting in the Discord, man. Yeah. I I often do that. But like why are you sitting in the Discord alone if you're recording? Wouldn't you wanna be in like a different like not on a channel so people like me couldn't interrupt you and downgrade the quality of your footage? What do you mean, downgrade the quality of the footage? <laughs> it gets upgraded. The heck you mean downgraded? Yeah, sure. I can actually, like, have a conversation with somebody. Instead of just me sitting here rambling on about how each factory can produce X amount of thing with whatever byproducts along with X thing that's amazing. Don't make it sound too complicated. I've, I've played Factorio before. Yeah. Unfortunately, I played back for you. Yeah, you're the only person. Oh, you you are now one of the only two people in our group that knows how to do drains. Cool. As Gavin. Gavin has learned. Drains are great until you get murdered by one because you were standing on the track fixing something. You forgot that you didn't set the. Top. <laughs> yeah, that that's a shame, eh? Majority of my deaths when I played with you are me getting hit by my own trains. <laughs> it's a real shame. You should try to get better. Uh, heh. Me telling you to get better. That's a joke. It's always been to get better. Yeah, but you're... You're better than me. Oh, Therefore, no, it's a joke for me to tell this. you. We're not doing this. I eat. I'm currently attempting to mass produce science. Nice. I'm sitting here on Lobotomy Corporation. I'm trying to finish the true ending. Oh wow. That's gonna be hard. I don't I I've heard the, the final gauntlet's gonna be really difficult, but I have almost all the abnormalities researched. I have 95% dissolution. So Dang. there's like three more that I need. The problem is the abnormalities it gives you are based on RNG. So I just got to hope I get them in this run and not get screwed over with like, all right, pick three ellipses. <laughs> okay, so well, we're going to need you to pick one 
How how do you want to die? That's the question. How 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 what 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 what, 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 what way would you like death? Pretty much how it is, man. I, I had to restart at like day fourteen because I finally got the plague doctor, and I'm not uh, I'm not running the final gauntlet with White Knight in my <laughs> facility. It isn't happening. <laughs> what happened? I got the plague doctor. I ain't dealing with that. Dude, White Knight would actually be a cool idea for a god doctor. You you keep telling yourself that. <clears throat> what do you mean? It'd be great. I, I understand you have no idea what I'm talking about, but it would be pretty sick. <sighs> I'm sure whoever the poor, sorry, sap that watches these videos probably will, but, uh... The chances of somebody who watches Factorio also knows about Lobotomy Corporation is relatively small, but, like, if they are, then cheers, pal, whoever's listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> they know what you're talking about. They, they, they know. They know the pain. White Knight wasn't too terrible. The problem was I wanted him out of my facility, but I also wanted to get his ego gear before I booted him out. And at oh. the time I was on like day 14, so I had like 12 employees to work with. Well, that's fun. I don't have enough labs, goddamn. It went alright, I guess. <laughs> I, I bailed after I collected one suit from him. Oh, wow. Something like 333 uh, PE boxes to get one suit. And I'm not working with him that many times. None of my people were even good enough. I pretty much just sent a guy in every day to die, and that's how I got the boxes for it. Dang. Oh heck, my iron's drying up. Dang it. Now I'm gonna have to go find more iron. After more research. One soon. That's another thing. I <laughs> I bugged the game and instead of the abnormality you're supposed to start out with on day one, I started out with a different one. Huh. You seem to do that whole bugging thing a lot. It's pretty great, man. I was, it's supposed to be one sin and hundreds of good deeds, but I managed to start out with Leticia on the first day, which was interesting. Who the frick is that? I don't know. It's, it wasn't too terrible. It's like uh, HE, so it's like middle of the line in danger. And since I have, like... What's her face? I have Hod suppressed. All my employees are level four. So I could deal with it. It's just not ideal. Understandable. One, two, or three? Uh, three. Okay, you. Good. That's doable, I guess. <sighs> Was one of those an A lift? No, none of them were bad. I could have been. I ate. You pick the one that I have the least amount of experience with. Fun! But it's also, like, the data. I'm not gonna try and use the actual terms on you, because you don't know. So Whatsoever. It's danger level 1 through 5, and it's just a danger level 2, so. Ah. Uh. Why is there a base that close to my factory? Let me get rid of that. Oh well. Oh, hey, Talon, I, I have done something horrible. Oh, that'd be... You know how I like, like, mass-producing science? Yeah. Yeah, so I started mass-producing the, uh, research labs. <laughs> I have a problem. I don't have enough science. <laughs> Make more science, wall. Like... I have placed down over 800 factories. <laughs> Over 800. <laughs> I still have more. I 
I just have two factories left. God dang it. Whatever. Those factories can go back. <laughs> well, I guess I guess I actually have to uh upgrade all my science. Guess I gotta do that instead of re instead of getting new science, I'll just increase all the other ones. Right? That's that's how this works. Because now I'm onto the one that I generally get absolutely destroyed on, which is purple science and freaking yellow science. Congrats, Miss Mirai. You're this run's magical girl. Why do I only have one magical girl wand? What happened to my other one? Did I lose that before I suppressed what's the face? God dang it. Why does my gun shoot so fast? I only have one magical girl. That's unfortunate. I'm not dealing with the Queen of Hatred. I didn't place my science facilities correctly. We didn't place anything correctly when we played that game. Last thing I remember, we just had spaghetti to everything. <laughs> Have you <Horrible>. seen? <laughs> <laughs> I see you have yet to watch any of my Factorio videos. Nothing's changed. <laughs> I can't watch. I can't play Factory. I'm not gonna watch you play it. <laughs> Good point. Shit. No, wait. We're getting. It's almost a minor is death. Dang. Wait, can I do it like that? Wait. Will this work? <laughs> God dang it, I know I actually have to test this thing out. Latisha's actually danger level 3, and everything else I've put in my facility is either 1 or 2, so... I started out with the most challenging thing so far. Not that Latisha's at all challenging. Alright. So if I place... Dang it. It won't work. I didn't know that... Void dream can escape. That's interesting. Hello, lads. Yo, what up? It's him. It so is, in fact, him. Wait, what do you mean it is him? It is you. Right, but what do you mean by that? You are you. Are you not you? Well, I suppose I'm me, but... <laughs> then you are him. ...towards a conversation being done in place. Ahem, but you are him. The conversation involving you started when you joined. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I guess I have been summoned in that case. Nope. You joined and then you were summoned. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you Gabe, joined one, first. One, two, or three, Gabe. Wait, what do you mean? One, two, or three. Pick a number. I guess two. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, dang it. The <laughs> context would have been nice. <laughs> it's, uh, to see whether or not he summons an Aleph class, clearly. Hmm. No, it was just the... Nah. It's another Are you both on Factorio, with. or what? No. I'm on Factorio. He's doing the freaking... Like I forget. Lobotomy preparation. Oh, okay. Oh, heck, I did that last time as well. What were the three options that were going to happen? Uh, don't remember all three of them. All I know, the, they were all like danger level one and two. 
Mm -hmm. The only reason I said dang it is because you pick the only one that can actually escape. The other two are just kind of like ignore them and they don't do anything. Oh, okay. But now he's going to have to put like a little bit of effort in and he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> you put a walking IED facility. Wait, Kyle, didn't you roll three twenties for your sheet? He rolled two. I rolled oh, two. Okay. Yeah. You put it in. What did you do? Constitution and intelligence, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause I thought uh, cleric I, was. I heard your intelligence for that based. Play and it's no longer stupid reasoning. What? <clears throat> the reason why Kyle put a twenty is intelligence. Oh yeah. Since we because were all twenty in religion. Uh, yeah, he thought that uh, clerics would roll with religion, which kind of does make sense. Mhm. Mm Oh, no, I thought they were just an intelligence casting class. Hmm. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, well. But now I'm good at history, I guess. Alright, I'm pinning core. That way we can find him at any point. Alright. Do you All still right. have core, by the way, Kyle? I... Yeah, he DM'd it to me. I still do, in fact, have core. I don't delete anything, because I don't need to. I mean, technically, don't all of us not need to delete anything? It is a shared account. True. Yeah, but you guys don't use it. That's fair. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna delete all the characters on it. Freaking please don't. <laughs> I have so many characters. Oh, wow. I have freaking you on there, Talon. What? What? Wait, who? You. Which one? Talon. What? Wait, what? I made a character. Called Talon. What class did you make him? Probably a fighter. That sounds about right. Oh wow. Like as basic as you can get, fighter. <laughs> Do you have any of my other characters on? I'm that? assuming like 18 to 20 in charisma. Oh, uh, I don't think I think I put a 16 in charisma. Cause oh, Talon, okay. cause Talon talked me down from putting an 18. Wait, really? Yeah. That should have just furthered the 18. Point. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you fool, you you've been outplayed. <laughs> have any, any of my other characters. Because you know that uh, level 20 uh, abomination I made for the PvP campaign that Scott didn't let me use? Yeah. I lost that. It's not a PDF, and it's not on my like character roster. Rip. I mean, granted, Scott let out, Scott and a few other people let out a collective sigh of relief that I've lost the character. Me. <laughs> if my character was going to come under attack at that at any moment, <laughs> I would have been <laughs> one shot. It was, it was pretty much, yeah, you die. It was something like upper hundreds, low two hundreds as an initiation attack. And, and then, at, any, at any moment, I rolled a 20, which all my attacks would be 2d20s, with the first one being 3d20s. If I rolled a nat 20 at any moment in those hits, you just die instantly. But you're yeah. you, so it's unlikely that you'd even roll the nat 20. That's what happened in the PvP campaign that we were doing with you. I rolled all those 20s, and I didn't roll a single natural 20. Yeah. I did a lot of damage, though. You did a ton of damage. It's just... You weren't able to do it properly. Character was fun. I, I probably wasn't stacking off damage, right? Anyway. Yeah. I think there were a few more things that I needed to do. And we you probably made some mistakes with like how it should have gone with the calculations and all that fun stuff. Uh, oh no, the calculations were pretty much on point. I'm talking about when I rolled for damage. I might have forgot a few feet forwards and deep here and there. I had uh. a lot I had to roll. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> what? Oh, by the way, Talon, I should be getting all of my books and stuff tomorrow, most likely. Alrighty. I shall pave my world. By the way, Kyle, 
forget any lore about your character that I have told you previously on the basis that we would not be playing my campaign whatsoever at any point in time. I'm pretty aware of that, of that at this point. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I still have like I all the like, feeling... little fun notes and all that fun stuff, but mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's just kind of like back to basics. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm an intelligence-based cleric. Hmm. With strength as a dump stat. Yeah, okay. didn't you have like a three in your face? I had a nat one. It's just D and D wouldn't let me put a nat one. Wait, really? Yeah, it won't yeah. allow you to put nat ones or nat twenties. D and D Beyond will only give you a uh, a three. Oh. It's like the minimum was three, and like the maximum was like eighteen. A lot. It sucked. Ooh, I do not think this is supposed to be coming from my earring. I still have that roll pinned where I uh, did a 60 20 and I got four natural 20s and nine and like a nine. Oh, dang. I mean, why would you not keep that roll pinned? I mean, it's your best roll that you're ever going to get. Like, honestly. That was pretty great. Just have an 18 in every stat, and then a 9. In, hmm. I don't know, intelligence. Okay, a little bit of background information. What's the deal with the lolly with... A burning castle behind them? What? Oh, uh, that was... I <laughs> want that. <laughs> okay. Dude, that's one of my favorite D&D pictures. So... You remember when Zuko, or, uh... What is it, Roberto burned down a castle? Vaguely? I wasn't really there for that, but right. I remember... So... I set it on fire being one of his nicknames for a while. Yeah, so, um... He lit up a portion a portion of a castle, not knowing that there were any civilians in it. But there were, it was pretty freaking obvious that there were civilians in it, if you would have like asked around like whatsoever. Uh I had sieged it with a whole bunch of orcs, one of them amped up on ketamine. Hmm. I don't think that's that's it. I, I believe that's the one. Is it not? That's from uh Oh god, I see that Scott through in a That's Scott's suit. campaign, yeah. It's Scott's campaign, but that was five um, months ago. And I think the last pinned image we have of Scott's actual campaign was literally over a year ago. So... Not that and one? Over a year ago is when I posted... Uh, yeah, over a year ago is when I posted Core's Dead with the Dancing Crab when you died to a bunch of like rapes or whatever. And oh, wait, what? After the, the when did he die to Wraiths? Or did he have two cores? No, well, he had a second. He, his character in God's Campaign was also Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think that castle was... It was another siege, but it was the one where we, uh... We helped the besiegers instead of the defenders. Hmm. Oh jeez, I forgot the that was pinned. Remember, dude. I, I, I'm surprised I don't remember because I've said it on multiple occasions that it still is. That's my favorite Photoshop I've ever done for a game. Oh, the lolly one with the castle behind it. Because I can kind of see why. I stole that character from a manga that I was actually currently reading. Oh really? Uh huh. And I think my favorite Photoshop you've done so far, though, was the... If I had a copper piece for whatever so-and-so happened, I'd oh, have yeah. two pieces. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah. That's a Doofenshmirtz quote. <clears throat> that was a good one. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a, a trans-dimensional platypus but, kicked uh... me in the face, I, I have two. Like the, the very first, uh, the very first picture that got pinned. 
I put a lot of time and effort into that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, oh, the Barleys. Quality, but yeah, Barleys Brewery with a bunch of the characters together was pretty good, in my opinion. Wait, you got all four ones in a 46? Yeah. Wow. But, um... Mate, it's just talent luck at this I point. I like... the details that I did <laughs> in this first Photoshop job. Even, like, the people sitting behind tables, or, like, uh, the, the kitty table Lily's sitting at, if you look at the bottom right leg, I actually Photoshopped it to where the perspective still works. Like, that... The back of that mm -hmm. chair blocks off the bottom of that table. It's not just... Oh, okay. I put a lot of effort into this. That's kind of cool. It was all thrown away at a time. So, I, I see Dane... I see Noodle and Zhang. Gaseous form, which I can only assume is a Pona. <laughs> well, there's a, if you look at the gaseous form, there's a small pony head. Yeah. Hence why I assumed Epona. What about Zeekward and the other dude? Are those like Zeekward just was, simple uh, references? Kyle's original core. Oh, okay. He was strong or anything, but he had that 20 in con, so he was literally mm -hmm. a walking bag of HP. And then Lothric was the the other one, the skinny. Alrighty. Guy. A main characteristic of all of my characters is a walking bag of HP. Hmm. Obviously, Barley's at the, the stand. Uh. The fire spirit was an early concept of the original Jim Pickens, which is Ian's Oh, character. okay. The Crusader the, was who again? The Crusader is Zack's original character. Oh. Lord of Echoes. And then obviously, Lily. Kitty oh, Kitty. I just noticed Jojo Rabbit is thrown in there. Oh, uh, yeah. I need to remaster that picture. I need to find a bigger bar <laughs> picture. I'm going to get premium on uh, Superimpose. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make like one massive masterpiece with all of the characters we've had so far. Oh dang. That's So is anybody planning on doing like a gothic horror style D and D one shot? I don't, <laughs> I don't know about a one shot. But Connor I thought about doing a level zero campaign, like a really dark, gritty level zero. What's a level zero campaign? Just like we don't actually have any class levels. We're essentially commoners. Oh, okay. Which means does like, that just mean like high stakes, or does it mean it's mostly RP based? It'd be very high stakes. Oh, okay. That it would. It'd be like a prequel to an actual adventure where we get mm -hmm. a, a class level. Because here's the thing. Commoners, it would have been super like dark and gritty because once again we're commoners. Like death was. He said death. Character death would be common. Alrighty. Sounds like a lot of fun! <laughs> Cause who doesn't like death? I still need you to run uh, the Persona session, Kyle. Yeah. Indeed. Hence why the other day I was like, hey, Talon, Kyle said he's busy, like, er, not busy all day tomorrow, whenever yeah. I left the other day. Yo, and guess freaking what? Me, like, hey, just so we're clear, Kyle can run a session, and I'm like, oh, sweet, and then I join the Discord, and I'm like, hey, we need to run your session sometime, and then he either just doesn't show up, or he shows up too late. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, uh, I, I do have a problem. I am not- I am working every single day this week. Wait, what? Holy cow. And I'm easily gonna go over Did you just hours. mute out of frustration? Oh, coughing I'm assuming? Well, considering it sounds like he's almost half dead, I'm assuming yes. Yeah. Oh jeez, this was pinned. From my not Deku account, that feeling when a session that was meant for combat turns into one where someone utilizes prostitution to gain currency. What? What? One of. Okay, so long story short. Some of the things we didn't want to do in your campaign was like, we, we were we were pretty morally good boys, for mm -hmm. most of it. and you for the most part kept things pretty moral, and then out of nowhere, you're like, also, I RP, like, prostitute. Jesus, man. No. So the thing is, I set up a combat encounter with multiple thieves and rogues inside of a bar. Basically, it was the introduction to the party for a separate campaign with my sister's friend group. Okay. 
And it was meant to be combat, but the barbarian of their party, who's new to D&D entirely by that point, was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some currency. So yeah. he simply asked, hey, I want a prostitute for money. And then I was like, I mean, I, I guess? Because I didn't want to immediately shut it down, but still, on the other hand, not exactly the intended route. See, the way I, the way I go about like stuff like that, I guess, is mm -hmm. it would be allowed in a more light way. Like, right. Characters falling in love, love interests, and exploits like that. Like, you mm -hmm. can develop love interests and whatnot throughout the, the party, but as soon as the scene becomes, like, 18 and up, that's where you cut in the whole fade to black. Oh, that's exactly what I did. I kept everything, like, undetailed for his side of things, and then I whenever everybody was in combat, like that. that's whenever I actually, like, went into detail. <laughs> hey, game. <laughs> Hold on, what was that? By the way, the uh, the reroll that wasn't for Epona, that was for uh, a backup character. No, I'm aware. Talon told me. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was definitely interesting. Okay, all I'm saying. Yeah, there's been. Let's see. One of my previous players who was playing a literal paladin was on an absolute mission to get with the druid not in like a immediate sense but that was clearly his main goal for the campaign at that point that's fair based <laughs> uh i mean if you allow it then like that's what they're if they want to do that then they could do that yeah. if it was a situation where it's like they want to do something like that and you're like yeah chief i really don't want that happening then that sucks for them, but it's not happening. So the thing is, what made it really good is not only was he a paladin with an ulterior motive at that point, but he was rolling so badly on his multiple like charisma rolls and whatever, but he was being so persistent about it and so like on the nose that it escalated relatively quickly. Fair enough. Yeah. See, one of the big things with me is I actually have a character that should be much more uh, active in mm -hmm. that kind of scenario, but he's not at all. Let's see. I always thought I always thought that it would be funny to play like an asexual bard, <laughs> but then I realized that. It's a lot less funny whenever I realized that that would literally just be a self-insert. Consider <laughs> you yourself an asexual bard. Nice. Well... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting to hear that sentence today. Alright, what oh, triggered wow. this? <laughs> Hold up, that's going in quotes. You should oh really? Like playing piano thing and put it in the music in our channel. You're really good. Dude, I tried to before, and the thing is, the file sizes were way too large. However, if you're interested, recently I've been posting a little bit on TikTok, but that's Yo. just due to the fact that I have friends who have grown really quickly on the app, so I was like, hey, might as well, and then after a little while, move on to somewhere better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a majority of us have used TikTok, though. Hmm? Do sure. or do not? Don't use TikTok. I more than understand. Well, I only use I do. it because my sister sends me them all the time. I do, and I have Discord Premium, so I could technically bridge the gap. When oh, you, really? Uh, record the videos of you playing. Do you do like an actual video of you playing? It hey, depends Alex, on what you mean by that. Because you could try doing the. Uh, you have an iPhone, right? Yes, that I do. Although it's like an iPhone 10. You could try doing the voice memos app so that it's not capturing video, it's just solely audio. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can send you, I can text you one of them really quickly. So then you can see what I do. Because it doesn't like show my face or anything, because obviously I'm not doing that kind of thing. Well, it, the, talent, the thing your, is, your, your voice, it's cringe. You're far from the mic or something. That's <laughs> unfortunate. It's my freaking PS5 controller, isn't it? Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> Get fucked. 
Alright, so Talon's PS5 <laughs> controller loves to take over his audio. Wait, really? Yeah. So if <laughs> literally, um, if it's uh, his PS5 controller and his like, actual mic, his PS5 controller would take control instead of his mic. It's all hey, garbage. Talon, apparently Connor's planning to run like a couple Eberron one-shots soon or something. Yeah, I heard because of the uh, inability to run Latium. <laughs> right. Well, supposedly he's got, quote, one more session. Let me know when you get that, and then that would just show the gist of what it is. And the sound quality isn't too great, but I can get to that later on. Yeah. Hey, Talon, petition to kick all League players, or at least people who have League in their bio, or a tag from the server. Maybe. What if we just make but, a separate chat for all of us horrible scum of the earth? But I, I have you, an entire separate you, Discord you, that we can use. Oh, in that server true, alerts channel, can you it. ping everyone who has the league role and tell them that they're on thin ice? It'd be funny. So I'm gonna get pinged all now. You, all Great. Will be, will be systematically eliminated beginning with a raffle on Halloween. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Please! And the catch is, it's not a raffle. I just pick somebody and say they're unlucky. Yes! <sighs> oh, by the way. So, the reason I was asking about if anyone was doing, like, a gothic horror-style campaign for Halloween was due to the fact that, yet again, I have only played in your session so far, Talon. Like, that is my only experience as a player outside of, like, maybe when I was 12 oh. for, like, 20 Talon minutes. Dang, session? you're a freaking perma DM. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> exactly, and that's Wait, why I've been out of it for Talon's so long. Campaign? It was the mm -hmm. first that thing. Uh, what? yeah, Hikari. I have ready to run again. I just need Kyle to run Oh, the Persona <laughs> campaign. Yeah. 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 So even then, it's not even, like, official D20 I mean, system based. Yo, like, Gabe, the best time I'm free is, like, after I work. Whatever like, that happens. Sunday or on, Monday. that was a lot of things happening at once. Yeah. What was that? Um, are you planning to join Town's 4 Element campaign? What's the 4 Element campaign? Is that, like, Avatar style? No, not really. No. Oh, okay, because I was about to say I'm down to be discount Zuko. It'd be based <laughs> on, like... Obviously, the four elements mm -hmm. that you would find in Avatar, but it's not Avatar based. Like those are just the classes of magic. The big oh, thing okay. Was it was it was going to be a race to. Have I? Yeah, I've already let, uh, let it go. It was a race to either resurrect or fully seal a, de a dead god. Alrighty. And there was going to be two groups of four players, one group uh, racing to resurrect, oh. and the other group ra racing to seal. Oh, that I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I knew that, but... Uh... Can we, um, is it metagaming to hunt down the other group and exterminate them? Yes. Uh-oh, no, I was literally, I, I had uh, fail safes in place to make sure that you guys almost never encounter each other unless I want you to. Wasn't there going to be, like, an encounter, like, a, that was, like, the final boss or something? Wait, so do you mean, like, reverse railroading? <laughs> yes. How was, really was that like, reverse? It was more like I would I would flip a coin to see who goes first, right? Uh -huh. And then I'd run both of their basic sessions, since they, you start on the main continent. And, obviously, the, the church group would start in the capital city. And the... Alrighty. Uh, the forlorn, I think that's what I called them, would start in a encampment. Connor and I are in the church group, right? I think so. So they have okay. their, their individual startup, like, introduce, introduce yourself to the lore of the world kind of session. That didn't come out right. Anyways, and then after that, I would put you into the actual campaign. And how I was going to do it is the team that went first would have the option of all four, uh, like, sub areas to go for the objectives. And then whenever they picked one, the other team would have a choice of the remaining three. Hmm. hmm. Okay. And but who's team. who's in on it right now? I am. Uh, people, but I also have people that I'm removing. Like I'm probably not gonna go through with Anthony, even though he's. Slotted. Yeah, that's fair. Kick Let em. me see. Actually, do I? Have... Not even like that. It's official sign up. <laughs> Is it official? 
No. We're gonna say it is anyway? Yes. Ian's in on it, right? But he's not in our group, right? I believe Ian's in on it, yeah. Ian is not, actually. No? The... You, Scott, you, Connor, and Zach are three of the four in the Church of Rhea. Okay. Then Anthony... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zach's gonna bring that cleric back. Anthony, Kyle, and Gavin were gonna be in the four lords. Zach's gonna bring that cleric back. Watch. That'd be pretty funny. And I, I will say, uh, for both sides, they're both not necessarily good or, like, not Okay, good. that's fine. Both, both sides are technically good. But one is more of a lawful, and one is more of a chaotic. <laughs> the church is the lawful one, right? Yeah, the church is the lawful. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to bring Rhea back. And yes. And the people are trying to fully suppress it. That could be interesting, because my character is a bit more chaotic. It'll be interesting to play out the tension. <laughs> I just accidentally got an achievement in Factorio. Let's go. <laughs> what, a, what a trip it would be if, like, <laughs> partway through the campaign, uh, two people actually switched which parties they were in because of, like, dissenting opinion. Excuse me. Yeah, Ow. death wasn't going to be a big part of it. Like, there was going to be a pretty big workaround for it. <laughs> uh. I mean, you could technically die, but it would, it would be very hard to. Wait, Kyle. Yeah. So are you saying you work tomorrow? I work every day. And what time does your shift end? Tomorrow I close. So like eleven ish. Alrighty. How many people are going to be awake by then? Because Let's see if I'm getting my books tomorrow then I could either start the session late at night tomorrow night or the day after wait what wait your session for what <laughs> hold on <laughs> your session for wait, what what do you mean hold on uh, y your session for what? I thought you've gotten the jest by now. Gavin is, according to his words, kill Saturday. Wait, what do you, what is that? He said he's mean? gone the whole day. Oh, okay. I have something Sunday, right. but if we start nine or later, that'll be fine. Alrighty. And then, um... Monday, I'm trying to run my campaign. But if, like, right. say Ian couldn't make it or whatever to mine, then we could run yours. Alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate myself so much. Yeah, we run, uh, we run the first session of the finale for my Spelljammers campaign. Like, this arc, anyway. And Alrighty. then, I'm just like, I right, guys... Um, when's our next scheduled date? Gavin's just like, I'm gone for the next week. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, boys, I'm out. Yeah, he just, All right. bye. Let's see, my only issue so far is my mental health has the backbone of a Lay's potato chip. So if running my campaign gets way too stressful or anything like that, or just irritating, then I will have to fall short. Based. Understandable, but based. Okay, in a good based context or a bad based context? Is there a. There's no That's good based and there's no bad based. There's only based. Oh, okay. <laughs> the answer is that's for you to decide. And for cringe me to know. Is, cringe is almost always bad, but based is just based. Oh, okay. Applying moral connotations to that isn't really, like, a thing. Oh god, I hate like, myself. Like, if you see somebody, if you see somebody, like, 
supporting like literal nazism or something but they're doing it doing it in enough of a chad way you can call them based that doesn't mean they're oh, right okay. it means they're based Alrighty. define based no exactly. define <laughs> whatever i agree with <laughs> no that's not true whatever i may or may not agree with I think one, like, partial definition is, like, taking, like, a stand or having an opinion, you know? Even if it's not Just right. in general? Yeah. Like, believing what you believe is based. Alrighty. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be good, but, um, yeah. So, like, the difference is, like, your average, your average journalist or whatever isn't based because they're just saying whatever the fuck advances their career. The average, right. like, you could find someone with the same beliefs that the journalists express, and they would be based if they just believe that. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm now having a based or not based in my factorial. Based policy. or not based. <laughs> what? <laughs> what if it isn't based? What if it truly is my pure? Exactly. That's that's the meme that epitomizes based. <laughs> it truly is your horrible unfiltered opinion. That's based. Uh is hating yourself based. Only if it's really true. <laughs> well, I Which freaking I don't hate think it myself. Usually is. <laughs> what? <laughs> As of this second, I freaking hate myself. I think we all do, pal. Speak for yourselves. <laughs> I don't hate myself. The, uh, Alan, the only non-depressed well, person. Okay, you said that with such, like, desperation, though, yeah. that I don't know if you were just holding back a cough or what, but it was perfect. I was. Oh, See, okay. I hate, I hate others in my stead. Like Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> like Kyle. <laughs> I mean, it, it's reasonable to hate me, let's be honest. But is it base to hate you? Only it's It's only based if you do it. Everyone else My is fine. personal opinion what? is, while I don't hate you, I definitely envy your luck. Oh, I can tell well, no you shit. every now and Kyle, then. Kyle, Kyle, but... go roll the d20s. We want to see <laughs> those 20s. Yeah, no, I, no, it's just hate. You can just say it. You don't have to say, oh, I envy wow. you, go. <laughs> it's just pure unadulterated hate at this point. Right, roll those d20s. <laughs> Interrupt your stream. You want me to actually... Yes. Fine. I'll, I'll legitimately I remember roll. This is one time we were talking about Kyle in the voice channel. All right. And we say, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Boom. He joins. Oh, wow. Wait. It was alternator, that was alternator, fake. alternator. It was alternator. <laughs> I thought that was fake, though. Oh, I got that one. Uh, not, uh, 19, uh, he didn't get uh, 620s. God damn it. Huh. It You've disappointed me. No. What? Town? One in your intelligence. The minimum you can put is a three. Like, it literally won't let you put... God. Hmm. There we go. That's better. That's not the same. It's... <laughs> Good point. I'll do it one more time. If the gods have blessed me, I know what I shall roll. In Shahala. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, I didn't. Huh. That. I actually what? rolled badly. Oh. Huh. The gods have not blessed me. I am here. <laughs> He wants to roll a 69, I swear to god. Of course he does. Bruh. Hold up, I need to find where Mecca is on my um, on my phone so I can do the correct prayers before hitting the enter key. 60, 20. Hey. Nice. Okay, apparently the game just doesn't like me right now. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. the I've been rolling like 60s, man. It's bad. Oh, you're 10 and above. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like Kyle. 60s. Kyle, you do you know that the average of sixty twenties is sixty, right? It is. That's not that. Yeah. Oh. I generally roll. Well, actually, like a little bit higher. Yeah, I think it's like uh sixty one or something, but around that area. Yeah. yeah, but for me, this is bad. All right. True. <laughs> Gotta remember, Kyle's sixty is like hour thirty. <laughs> Uh, no. 
My 60 is like your guys' 50. God dang it. One, two, or three, Scott. Uh, what? One, two, or three. What do you mean one, two, or three? Pick one, number, one two, two, or three. Three. That's Why okay. am I... What have I done? Huh. I should probably upgrade that, uh, actually. What have I done? Was two yet again the bad choice? Two is pr arguably the worst of the choices. Oh, what okay. the fuck are you talking about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to think if you worry about it. We don't want you to do that. Is this for your Persona <laughs> campaign? At the end of the day. I'll know by the end of the day. Is that true? <laughs> Probably not. Did I just get party switched? What? No. What? <laughs> yeah, your brain's, your uh, brain's going on overdrive. Yeah, what, I what still haven't figured out what those numbers mean for Connor. What you did was very, very minor. Indeed. You know, actually, I asked Connor and he says he doesn't remember what the numbers are for. I remember. What? what? Yeah, I asked him at lunch and he's like, he, I'm going to tell you. And then he says he doesn't remember. <laughs> Which is amazing. Okay, I bowed to Mecca enough times. <laughs> the numbers. The numbers. Mecca, Allah has struck me down. I am not faithful enough. <laughs> Let's see, what is it? Ran character? Yeah. Yeah. Ran char. You're not faithful enough. You're pretty faithful. You got close. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, you know, on my original stat roll, Gabe, when I was rolling Wait, stats one of those for the backup... Was six, five, six, and six, okay. When I was rolling my stats for the backup character, I rolled a 60-20s, and I get a 69. I was like, yes, I'm using these. So Wait, I enter, really? like, the first two stats, and then Talon has deleted the message. Wow. <laughs> he has deleted the message, so I have to roll again. Huh. Get freaking wrecked. Uh, that's rough, buddy. Shut the fuck up. But you know that he's actively looking for any 69s that you roll, right? Let's see. I should get a, uh... <laughs> Theater of the off. Mind Goblins. Oh my god. Oh, is it only... Is it only R? Jesus Christ. What? Damn! Damn. Oh, is it like actually rolling decently? It rolled a 75 on a 60 20 rolls. That's 17, 19, and 20 is gonna come in. Flash. That's pretty out of. Woo. Yeah, but that's pretty like a 5, that. 5, and a 9 for the rest. Yeah, but the, the five sure, but still. Based on the class you pick. Hmm. Like, if you're not a wizard, you just put a 5 in intelligence. There you go. I'm too proud to put a 5 in intelligence. I put the 9 in intelligence. Aww. I put the 9 in intelligence. Hmm. Yo, check that out, baby. Fuck no. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a dumb character. Play play a low intelligence character and have them have some problem that messes with their like psyche or something. Hmm. Oh, I got a thirty freaking two. I got three oh, nat three ones. ones. No. Wow. That's pretty good. I got three nat ones. What is? Like what is pretty good? I rolled six. I rolled six. He rolled three D20. Oh hey, there's a sixty-nine. Talon, I rolled sixty fuck you. twenty. Wow. <laughs> fuck you, Talon. Off. All I heard was the gas, the inhale. That's as far as he got. <laughs> <laughs> By the time his brain had processed what had happened, it was gone, <laughs> like a shooting star. <laughs> Airplanes in the night nice sky, I, I like knew shooting it was stars. <laughs> Is he gonna continuously try? If so, I'm blocking Avery. <laughs> yeah, block Avery, like right now. <laughs> we did it! We did it, guys! We did it, Reddit! Hey, removal crew. Would you mind? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Remember that time I posted the number when you said you'd bear me if I did typed another 69 in chat, so I posted a number live with everything crossed out with the 69. Uh -huh. <laughs> I peeked. 
that and the Amogus memes banned copy pasta were the two high points of my life. You don't have any high points in your life, then. What, Ton? What interesting high points. Yeah, I know, right? Man, I got the last legal Amogus meme, and I, I will never give up this power. <laughs> Yo, Talon, can I post an Among Us meme just to screw him out of that power? No, not in this channel. Aw. Oh. <laughs> the year is turning 21. <laughs> Among Us is punishable by death. <laughs> Actually, you would get fucking kicked from the server if you posted fucking Among Us too much. But I posted I posted this in the memes chat and by golly I I, I got away with it. Oh, so I can do it like that. Alright. Why won't it upload? And that goes there and my spaghetti has increased. Talon? Talon You little shit. Yes. Image posting please. There we go. Talon, image posting. I have given myself a slight- oh heck. Did I really amp up my production on Blue Science that much? Wait, is everybody available Oof. today? Sure. <gasps> After like, Gavin, 11. I have to go. I yeah. I can- I can see what's going on with Gavin. Probably just work. Alrighty. In which case, he'd be on, but he'd be on at like 11 o'clock. Right. Well, I'm gonna be on at like 11 o'clock. I've got- I gotta go back to work to ensure that Ooh. they aren't screwing up anything. <laughs> what? So you have to go back to work? I have to go back to work. For how long? Okay, here's the original copy pasta. Until they close. So it's either- I'm either gonna be home at like 10.50 or like past 11. God dang it. Yeah. Ooh, what time do you have to leave actually though? Like, I have to be there by 8 back. so I gotta leave at like 8 or like What's 7. What's the phrase? Oh yeah, Ooh. Kyle K. Ahem. So you hardly Scott even unlucky. have an hour. Scott unlucky. I mean, I'm not gonna contest that. <laughs> I still love that line, dissenters will be beaten until channel quality improves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh heck, am I not producing enough engines? I only lasted like a week before I got temp banned for posting Among Us meme. You needed your Actually. Pick. Yeah. What does it take? Yeah, he says. <laughs> but man, I don't I, I gotta emphasize the risk the risk of this meme though. By this point, Among Us memes were already officially banned, and I was hmm. taking the head mods announcement over the Among Us ban and putting it in an Among Us. So this was real risk or reward, pin or pin or ban, as they say. <laughs> Thankfully, it was pin. Not uh, I wasn't banned. Why is there just a random grouping of worms there? I don't know. Maybe you deserve it. Freaking screw that random grouping of worms. It's going. It's going to die. Die. Death has Die. death has Die. been insured for this group of worms. Oh god. Great quote. I met a lot of people whose families were personally murdered by Hitler, but very few whose families were murdered by Stalin. This means Stalin was more thorough. <laughs> I mean Are they wrong? <laughs> Not wrong. Do they truly believe that? Now on to the next question. Is it based? We're not playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey. Connor, you're just in time to be a contestant on Kyle's new world famous game show. Based or cringe? <laughs> Our first subject is Alec Baldwin shooting somebody with a gun he thought he was empty during filming. Go. Well, Scott has now reached based. Really, it's really weird how many people have died in movies due to guns that were supposed to be props actually being loaded. Mm -hmm. Isn't that actually how Jackie Chan died? Not Jackie yeah. Chan. Um, Jackie Chan ripped Jackie Chan. Yeah, not Jackie yeah. Chan. It was Bruce his son. Bruce Lee's son. No, wait. 
I thought I thought that's how Jackie Chan died, or his son. No, his no, son died our, that way. I'm pretty sure. And our mm -hmm. next and our next question is, due to I'm the happiness due to the happiness caused by the Jack, meme, not this Jackie incident, Chan. I think it was Bruce Lee. Millions of people have been brought momentary joy by seeing memes such as Alec Baldwin disintegrating crew member asking for another take. Does this good outweigh the bad of the crew member dying? Based or cringe? Give your answer. Also, wait, hold up. Why is this my show? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so Bruce Lee seemingly was brain edema or edema. Contestant, we what? await your answer. So yeah, Jackie Chan died. For, he he fell while uh he fell while uh, filming a movie. Oh, Not really? that. The question I asked. The question I, I asked. The question I asked is, is the is the good from all of the various memes of Alec Baldwin disintegrating the guy? Uh, Hold up. Does Talon? that outweigh the bad from the guy getting shot? Hey Talon. What? Could you ban Scott real quick? Why? He's asking dumb Jackie questions. That's dead. the point of the game show. What? You know Jackie Chan's not dead, right? No, it was the son. Anyway, since the contestant is so <laughs> clearly unwilling to answer this question, and has thus gotten the only way you can get cringe and cringe based um, we will continue on. Minorities, <sighs> based or cringe? Is Scott based or cringe? League of Legends, based or cringe? Cringe. What else? See, Scott's in a weird situation. What? Wait, Jackie Chan's still alive? Yes, Jackie Chan. Yes, wait, wait, how am I in a weird alive? situation? Oh, Elaborate. <laughs> I looked it, I looked it up and I fucking saw the death the death hoax was the first thing that popped up. I'm like Oh wow. What are you saying Jackie Chan's dead? Did I miss something recently? <laughs> anyway, what about me in a weird situation? You kind of have like a civilization Gandhi approach where you've gone so far down the cringe line. That's, that's that true. Circled around. That's true. <laughs> I, I would agree with that. It's like that that uh that Pepe meme of I don't care if I'm cringe, I'm myself, which is a base in and of itself. What's the the Wreck It Ralph? You're only cringe if others if you care that others think you're cringe. Have you seen the Wreck-It Ralph one? Wait, what? Yeah, I've seen that. Or Scott hasn't. Um, I probably have. I, I have shown it to him, but he forgets that stuff so easily. Fair. Yeah, my sister's doing the... the my sister's doing the Evangelion opening right now. Nice. What? Like what? on an instrument or what? On her flute. That's, oh, that's great. Cool. So can we get, I'm gonna go see if she can if she'll do it over here. Where's that video oh, okay. of uh, me with the Wombo AI or whatever it's called singing uh Dude, I'd be down to duet it, but the piano's over in the living room. I don't I don't have the video, I don't think. What were you talking about? I know what you were you're referring to what yeah you yeah talking? fantastic joe made it Dude, you first. Singing that, uh, yakuza song? no not yakuza it oh, was better damn. than that it was um number one victory royale oh that's what it was Kaikita, number there's one a victory wombo royale. ai version and there's a version of me right, she's gonna play it okay sick yeah, you can take it's a little bit wobbly so be careful all right, all right. Start, start, uh, start again, you turn off snow suppression. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. You so, turned it back on. Shit. Ah, God. Okay, it's, it's fixed. Uh, okay, there you go. Is it? Yeah, it's off. Okay.
remarks that the mic's picking up sound good. Yeah. <laughs> is the mic not picking up all of it? Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 but still, it sounds good. Thank you. I'm not. I, I fucked up, but. <laughs> <laughs> got the channel up for a few seconds too, so that was nice. That was nice for me at least. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. After record, you didn't later. Now do a video. Uh, I, I can make make a recording and send it to you. Sure. Hey, one of you, you think you got a good one? All right. I'll be in my room trying, and then since I do have a mic there. <laughs> All right, lads. Really fast. Who's all down to blow up Gavin's phone until he responds to one of us in order to see if he's available Yo, right here? Scott, right now. call him. I'll do it. I'm probably. Okay. <laughs> time, to, time to text him. I can actually probably say Scott is, in fact, probably blocked from, ga from Gavin's. On yeah, Gavin's sure phone. you blocked me, Connor. What? I'm pretty sure you have me blocked. Not by text message. But a by... lot of people do. No, I don't. I don't think. No, I, I don't think I've blocked. I don't think I've blocked you. I have blocked you. With you, but Kyle's blocked you. I've blocked you. Gavin, I believe, has blocked you. Gabe, I think, has blocked you. Who? Scott? Yeah. 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 Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't block you. Hey, Connor. Yeah. One, Hello. Two, or three. Well, sorry. One, two, or three. Three. <laughs> he says two is the worst option, whatever that's supposed to mean. The option, the options, the options change. change. Uh huh. Two is just the like worst a good option excuse for you. to assign somebody whatever option you want. Should have said zero. No, it's like actually does affect stuff for him. Think of it like a multiple choice question. I, I'm going down the list. Each multiple choice question has different answers. I gotta love that he does not have a question, but yeah. Yeah, because I'm aware of what he's doing with it. Wait, Kyle, what yeah. time did you say you were going to sleep? Later? No, I'm coming back at like 11. Oh, okay. So like 10 your time. Alright, so Gavin is going to be available at around 9. Oklahoma he time. To you? Yes. <laughs> Oh, did he just ignore oh, you? By the way, Gabe, I should tell you this now, so it's not a surprise when it happens, but mm -hmm. Talon has promised that anybody who um, becomes an Oklahoman resident will be allowed mod privileges, so I have made some arrangements for after college. Wait, really? Oh, jeez. Are you really going to believe the word of Talon? Listen, hey, it's his word. I, for one, trust Talon's word, but I don't know if I trust his decisions. through on everything I say, which is why I made that copy pasta in, I don't know what Also, Talon has considered the question of the legitimacy of his own modship, considering he's no longer an Oklahoman resident. Uh-oh. Consider it under new management. <laughs> exactly. I I only suggest Marcus that Talon not be dethroned as head mod because then Gavin would be head mod and that would be a disaster. Oh gee. Anything with you guys would be a disaster. I if it was literally anyone else other than Talon, it'd be a is disaster. Is it my internet cutting out no or is kidding. it Gavin kicking me? It's probably Gavin kicking me, but I don't have access to the audit logs now, do I? <laughs> It's a uh, number one victory, Royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're yeah, about Fortnite, to get down. Get down, down, 10 kills on the board you right know, now. Kyle? Just wiped out Tomato Town. I My friend just got think down. Connor would be a close second. What? Uh, yeah, but that's just because. Sorry, I can't care. hear your threat because people are <laughs> talking too much. Get down. That's 10 kills Connor on the board right now. Though. Just wiped out Tomato uh -oh. Town. My friend just got down. Now I arrived him and we're heading southbound. Take me to your. Ah, oh, fuck, I messed it up. I mean, heck, like, I'd, I'd probably, like, not do anything except, for, like, kick Scott occasionally. Did you just do that? I don't have the ability to kick, to kick Scott. Oh, okay, then that must have been Talon. However, I can order Gavin around to do it, because he listens to me for whatever the fuck. Probably because he also enjoys the chaos that happens, like, the yeah. chaos that ensues. 
And I'll just randomly get kicked every once in a while. Uh, what was the dumbass decision I was doing? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. Automating freaking logistic robots. Ooh. That was a bad cord. My production's keeping up. It's just my ability to supply. So, just for context, the last thing I heard was. Wait, did you full blown ban him? Probably not do anything except for like. No, he full on kicked him from the server. Yeah. Literally did that as Kyle was saying that. That's what you do. It's great. The, the threat I said when I walked back into the room was, I'm not at my computer right now, but if I hear another more bar from that Fortnite song, the person who's saying it is getting banned. <laughs> well, you see, I didn't Good hear the I threat, stopped. therefore I could not be expected to comply with it. Believe me, when I was walking away, I, heard, I plain as day heard you say, I couldn't hear that threat over everybody else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't. <laughs> so how was I supposed to act on it? I don't know what you were threatening. Sorry, officer. I didn't know that was a law. <laughs> hey, there's a difference between laws and threats. A threat isn't a threat if the person you threaten doesn't understand it. That's a shame. It's law like, now. Definitionally speaking, it's not a threat. Ahem. That's a shame. It's a law now. <laughs> or rather, I should put it this way. Somebody cannot be expected to comply with a threat that they don't understand. You know what's painful? When you keep on messing up on something you've... <sighs> anyway, on, on can I have a transition that you've been doing uh, for the past... Since you began playing the flute. Nice. I more than <laughs> understand that as a piano. Starting with hot cross okay, buns. Can you, can you give me the furry, uh, furry and weeb rolls? No, don't give them rolls. Uh, don't wait, give them why? rolls. Don't give them rolls. Why would you want that? Why oh, can't are I you currently the immersion people? breaker? No, I currently can't. Plus, I I'm on my Zuko account, which means I can't. Huh? Can you give me the Zuko 2.0 row? Get wrecked. I don't think I can. Talon, Listen. I didn't even do anything involving image posting. I was literally sinning. <laughs> you were a sinning. Insurance. Insurance. It's like, it's like, you've got such like a fast trigger, like, around image posting that like, you think you were like, Alec Bulwick or something. Like, you bang. You know, I, I can't change your roles, but I can do this. But that's the only thing I can do. You do have a fast trigger. Only for you, though. We've already talked about this mentality. I'm the gap. I haven't did it. In case you were wondering, I did not disconnect you. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the whole point of me saying, but I can do this. And then so on. Either that, or he is on, actually on a phone line with Gavin. You got Gavin to disconnect me. <laughs> Gavin just psychically knows when to disconnect me from maximum pain. I'll be in a wish and I'll do absolutely nothing. He just yelled at me, so that was cool. He's gotten smart too. I'm pretty sure he's setting his uh, account to invisible just to kick me without me being 100% sure it's him. <laughs> like a Aww. He you know, the real secret is I'm not in a phone call with him or any sort of thing like that. It's just I'm since we're both people. Oklahoman, we can shout from each other from state border to state border. <laughs> You use, uh, Indian smoke signals. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, they're, they're the, uh, accurate. legal form of communication now. <laughs> they, they can just straight up scream at each other like, Yo! <laughs> you know what to do anyway, with Scott. Anyway, uh, can I have my rolls back? You, uh... Yeah, how's it like taking the Thunderbird to school every day? <laughs> you know, I figured out what it is. He senses nature in order to find out when you should be disconnected. <laughs> you see, he's actually he one thirty-second Indian. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I got the. F fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but pink. Why tag, are thorium enthusiast and full-blown furry not real tag? I see the immersion breaker disappear and then reappear. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Did the it's bot a... break? No. That's because. I created the the furry and thorium tags after I set the bot up, so it doesn't God have damn a, it. a bypass for those tags. God damn it. Wow. You have your tags. You have the ones you wanted. <sighs> Can I have the... Um... 
looking for tag. C tier laptop user tag. Are you a C tier laptop t user I tag? I have a laptop user. And Floridian, please. Second, probably better question. Do God you deserve the tag? <coughs> My laptop does get kind of hot when doing VR stuff, so yes. Yeah, but VR is considered good. Can I have the Floridian tag, please? <laughs> he will now ask you know for what? literally I'm any I'm tag. Desperate. I will accept the League of Legends tag. Brand me. <laughs> As long as I get image posting, I will be branded with the sin. The sin of League of Legends. Have you played League of Legends? The law requires that I answer yes. <laughs> it doesn't cancel out the immersion breaker? What the fuck's the point? <laughs> scar. Wait, what? I have been permanently scarred for nothing. <laughs> you know what? Wrecked. You know what? I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. Die? Yeah, he was leaving the server. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, dang. I am free from the sin. I have resurrected myself and purged. <laughs> Would you guys like to reattach the sin to him? No! <laughs> Is what? it automatically applied to everyone now? Or did you just have quick fingers? I just have quick fingers. <laughs> no! No! Wow. Let's go! No. Why? Why would you do this? Does Floridian even count? It doesn't even recognize Floridian, so I guess I can give you that too. <laughs> Get freaking destroyed! I guess I need to update that bot, but I also probably don't remember my login. Ah. I used it once to create that auto tag and then I forgot him. <laughs> uh, I am not generating enough blue science. This is my problem. Wasn't there <laughs> Never mind. Right, he's playing Factoria right now. He is. Yeah. I mean, what is he not? Um would I have the time? Whenever I'm playing D and D. Thank you, thank you, senpai. I mean, heck, I can start playing. I can start playing Factorio when we do D and D. My new name to. isn't necessary. Hmm. <laughs> I can start playing Factorio when we uh, do D and D if you want me to. Please don't. We already have Please enough don't. people that don't pay attention. Oh jeez. <laughs> Understandable. It needs to be said because that's what's <laughs> happening. Yeah. Zach just sits on his phone until he hears the word initiative, and I don't think Gavin pays attention in general. <laughs> Gavin he's says... Gonna pay, uh, he's going to start paying attention, because if he does not his character's soul is going to get claimed by a demon lord. No, no, in my campaign, not yours. Although maybe I should do that too. <laughs> the difference like between him. you and me... Scott, the difference between you and me is I know how to make my players pay attention. Okay. Which is by holding their lives on the line. <laughs> Sigma. If that doesn't work, I don't know what to do next. If that doesn't work, they die. <laughs> Old, uh, sorry, but I can't have you in the campaign anymore. Have a nice life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> you, with Anthony. you being in this campaign is no longer required. Hey man, sometimes it's needed. Yeah. It's not... Preferable, but I'll like, actually ask Gavin after this arc, but it's not preferable, but there's sometimes best option for both people. Mm -hmm. Like Anthony, now he gets to play League. That's what he did anyways. I yeah. know. What do you mean somebody freaking died? What? What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Like, I'm I'm telling you. Don't Who worry died? about it.
So nobody answered my question, by the way. I asked what, earlier. What question? What so, question? I was asking about, since my Rule 20 subscription is dead and I can't continue LAT team for a little bit now, um, mm -hmm. I was wondering if people would be interested in a few one-shots I've had in the back of my head. Sure. I already said then. yes, sure. Let's see why not. Alright. I heard one shot. <laughs> be good for testing characters anyways. Yeah? Yeah. I see, by any chance, it. are any of those a gothic horror one shot? Um, it is Eberron, uh, in the Eberron campaign setting. Dude. Connor? Which doesn't Connor? really fit. Unfortunately, that's, that'd be, uh, Ravinica is gothic Connor? horror. Don't hmm. run I a can... level 20 one shot. I know what Talon has planned. Hey, Scott. I'm not doing a level 20 one shot. What? I, I opened up iFunny and this is the first meme. Oh uh -oh. boy, what's it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, <you're> the... <laughs> That's from Kingman, right? Kingsman, yeah. Yeah, Kingsman. Whenever I record, I mess up. What the hell is this? Art. I think I remember. All right, uh, start that production. Hmm. Factorio things. <laughs> I require. I wonder the context of this scene. Why is he just murdering a shitload of people? I don't know. I haven't actually seen Kingsman. Ah, uh, which? It's all right. Which which version of shit ton of people is he murdering? He's the church. question we ask of Anthony in 20 years, looking at all the quantum branches of his life. Ahem, <laughs> continuing on. Which version of a shit ton of people is he killing? He's in a church, so... So... Oh, Mark I five? okay. Are you looking for an actual explanation of the scene? Sure. So, essentially, what's going on is... Oh, they're mind-controlled, right? Yeah, basically. This dude makes microchips from telephones. And that basically fires off chemicals in your brain that, like, make you absolutely, without a doubt, ticked off. So, so that's like, all going on. Basically, it's 5G, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> all right, Listen cool. Who's up on the murdering Scott train? I mean, don't worry. You guys in Oklahoma are pretty safe. They won't roll out 5G <laughs> to Oklahoma for another 15 years. Wow. But, um, basically that scene was him trying to test out his technology and take out the spy that's in the scene, both in one move. Of course, the dude clearly makes it out, but then immediately after I'm something I'm gonna test happens, my technology. I'm gonna kill everyone! Exactly. Yeah. Is that well, not how you his, often te test technology? His main goal was to murder the spy that the camera follows. Yeah. In all honesty, the choreography, or I shouldn't say choreography, but the actual, like, way the camera pans is pretty good throughout the shot. Yeah. Although, if you do, like, look into the tiny details, they made a ton of mistakes, but it's not as noticeable the first time watching it or anything like that. And then, of course, pair that with the Leonard Skinner song, Free Bird, and it's a pretty great fight scene in general. Man, he's really going for the kill. Oh, yeah. He's just yeah, trying no to kidding. kill as many people as possible. <laughs> he's not just trying to get through. He is murdering people. <clears throat> Damn. What? What's up with this? The, the, hmm. the third meme is another Alec Baldwin. Well, I mean, it is top. What? True. Listen, what is it? Bro, the feature system is broken and it features like a thousand images every few seconds. The fact that I... <gasps> Let me guess, the fact that you... Happened. Wait, so is the front page of iFunny like tailored to the actual user? Or is it just something that Chef puts together and gives to everyone? Chef from Total Drama Island? No, I I funny chef. 
Who the, the fuck is iFunny Chef? First ten memes have featured and three of them were Alec Baldwin. How much, how recently did this happen? What? Like a day ago or less. Okay, that makes more sense. But what's the iFunny Chef? Oh, it's it, that's a that's really old lore. It was the original owner of iFunny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's back I from assume whenever that the CIA, I used to uh, CIA gave him the uh, CIA award in journalism. I don't know. He was. It's a Russian-based app, so it was more likely to. It's a KGB. <laughs> you will like this now. It was. It was iFunny Chief, but he mistyped his name and it was C H E F. Oh, oh really? No. So that was the whole like reason behind it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They just Did you just keep keep it that way? Yeah. That's great. Roll with the meme. Based. Alright. <clears throat> I contest the full blown furry designation. I'm like 50% furry. I say with the furry profile picture. You say oh, with wait, the furriest profile picture on this server. And a plushy Hey, that's not true. This is not the furriest profile picture. On you know, I just had a real. Look at look at Connor's sister. Look at Zane Rose. Yeah, but she doesn't count. Look at um Lap. Dude, what's up with Lap? Isn't he one of your cousins or something? Yes. He's gone through a full like transition, man. I know. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember back whenever it was whatever purple shape it was. It was it was like a blob, and then all of a sudden it's just a bunch of like anime girls. <laughs> and now it's crying Pikachu. Now click on its profile, and it's like some weird Roblox thing. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> um, it just is. All right, let's see. So I made a surprising realization. A what? Come to think of it, the only party member that you guys are missing is paired off with Kyle, which means the majority of the group that's actually- Kyle isn't even a party member anymore. <laughs> I am a party member. It's just <laughs> nowhere near He's you guys. He's a party member, just not in a member the, of the majority party. of the party. Hey, I'm just yeah. in the next town over, all right? So, by yeah, the way, you could technically run it because yeah, that's what I was in advance with both Kyle and Gavin. So you do need to give the other guys. Time. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure we're like two weeks ahead of everyone else. Yeah, basically. What if we find you in that time? Hmm. Well, what if we find them. Then we kill them while they don't have control of their characters. Obviously. How base can you wow. be? I will spam fireballs. Here's by here's the, the way, fun part. You can't. Maybe? What was that, Connor? So, I was actually wondering if, um, I know that we won't be running this in 3.5, but if you would do 3.5 at some point. I'd be down to, but I'd need access to my books and all of that stuff from yeah, 3.5. Okay. Unless, of course, Kyle has it on the Universal account. No. Yeah. That's 5e only. Uh, oh. Yeah. I mean, I'd be that down. That said, you could probably just like find all the books on Libchen anyway. There's, there's, probably, there's no way they aren't there. Uh, I want physical books. I can, I can agree with the sentiment. That I like physical books better than John. Well, he was asking if they were on D D Beyond. That's not physical anyway. <laughs> yeah. Also, well, Gabe, uh, the thing level is, up my books are like two hours away, so that's why I was wondering. Well, it doesn't yeah. didn't have to be right now. The second. Hmm. Good. Well, yeah. Because yeah. I, I would love to play 3.5 at some point. Alrighty. Because it sounds fun. Also, Gabe, level up win. <laughs> Good question. I, I, I've got the I bet I, could, I bet I could level up right now by killing you. No matter who's the DM, like in Scott's campaign, we end Direct it at Scott. Please? What? Look, 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 look. I'm just saying, my CR is probably pretty low. I have 12 hit points. I can kill you in one punch. One punch! I can kill you in one hit. Yeah. I can kill you in one hit. 
I do a d10 of damage and a flat plus six, so all I need to do is what roll a six or above, and I down you immediately. You know, all right. Meanwhile, I can actually. It, four yeah. rabbits could just simply gang up on him. Dude, one, dude, turn, one rabbit could probably no. beat Scar. Are you kidding me? Fair enough. From <laughs> my freaking campaign, apparently. Those rabbits were hellions. Those were not rabbits. Well, yeah, every session of Spelljammers, I get the question, level up when? And the answer is when you stop asking. Oh, wow. No, we're XP based, though. So, they're, so they're the thing is, Kyle and Talon, since you guys were the ones like mentioning it, that was solely due to the fact that I kept rolling high with rabbits. That was horrible. So I almost want to give them the unofficial lucky trait. <laughs> that would make it an official lucky trait. Well, no, not like the actual where you can't. Anyway, roll I gotta one, go. Like you re-roll right. those. I just mean as in like due to the fact that for Jojo Rabbit, he has two nat twenties per combat encounter that he can use at win. Fair. <laughs> he does. So I might buff Jojo Rabbit to three, and then have all other rabbits have one. <laughs> Understandable and reaction. Um, or not like a free action. Just give them a few points in rogue. What were you going to say, though, Connor? Could I be invited to the campaign so I can actually? I can make. I can put uh, my dudes back in there. If anyone right, wishes to invite to him to the campaign, campaign. go ahead. <laughs> Oh, somebody's got some link to the campaign. It's the same one. I don't have the access to link. Uh, hold on. Let me actually. Get... I mean, if, it, if literally anyone has a link, go ahead and send it to them. I, I don't monitor that. <laughs> All right, here's <laughs> this. And does anybody else need the invite link? I'm pretty sure I'm still part of the campaign. I never deleted Lockpick. You never will be. You and Lockpick. Gavin both. I are. own the campaign. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. That was like the most audible oh, hiccup I've had in the last two weeks. It sounded like a small dog bark. It did. Oh dang. Oh yeah, when I go to Oklahoma, am I gonna freaking die? Define die. God, I hope so. Get murdered by your sister, your dog. <laughs> what? Your vitals are too high. I think you're thinking of Gavin. Uh, no, I'm. I think he's thinking of your psychopath. Uh. Oh, okay. You meant the other sister. Okay, possibly. Stab me multiple times. Yeah. As long one. as she can't track you down, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> See, Kyle, Kyle's vitals are just too high. Oh, that's a very fair point. And unless you factor in the fact that she can climb you. And the fact that I like to sit down a lot. Let's see, because for a second there, I thought you meant just like climate wise. And I was going to say like, Oklahoma's probably safer due to the fact that our road incidents are much less. Man, I didn't write down where I put my ASI. Hmm? I didn't- I never wrote down where I put my ASI. Your ASI? Ability score increase. Oh, okay. Wait, there's a workshop for Library of Runa? I have no point of reference to what that is, but I am going to say maybe. Workshop. Hmm. Oh, that's sick! Oh, by the way, Connor, what are the four illustrations there? In general. Oh, those are... You don't... Th those are, uh... Those are Spectrobes. Hmm. Remember Disney's... Disney's Pokemon. Oh, really? Yeah. I You're an attempt back in the day that. that never caught on. Hmm. That's freaking cool, man. Yeah, I low key really like the yellow one. 
My Is first thought was like one of the older Shin Megami Tensei ones. Before it was actually called Persona or anything like that. Is it supposed to be Pikachu, the yellow one? <laughs> I would not be surprised if it was supposed to be Ahem. Pikachu. Oh, they kind of did just take Pikachu and turn him into an elongated fox. <laughs> they stretched out Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what happened to Pikachu? Uh, we, uh, we stretched him out? Why? Where the heck are my belts? Dang, and I thought that Pokemon themselves were really thinning out Pikachu, but he went from, like, dad bod in the 90s, and then now he's Slenderman from Disney. Listen, dad bod Pikachu is the best Pikachu. It really was. <laughs> you used to be able to just draw him with, like, two circles, two triangles, and you were set. You drew a potato with ears. Exactly. And now you actually need detail. Yeah, but what if you just don't use detail? Fair enough. Oh, of course, I freaking did that perfectly. Let's freaking go. Mm. Hell yes. Oh, I uh, eyeballed something in Factorio and it worked out perfectly. Oh dang. I'm happy. Well. I no longer have any use for these construction robots. Oh wait, yeah I do. I'm on the home stretch in lobotomy by the way, Connor. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm hoping to make this my last run. I'm only missing like three abnormalities. Earlier today I I went through uh getting white knight. So that was something. Oh wait, come to think of it. Do the both of you remember where your guys' side of the party was? Yeah. Yeah, ours was sort of nondescript. Hmm? Ours was sort of nondescript. We were we were in that village that we helped find the cat for, right? And then you got uh, alcohol. Yes, that happened, but didn't you guys also later on find the area with the potions shop? But like, that would be me. Full blown. That would be, would be you. Okay. Alrighty. I, I say my group. It's it's really just me and Kevin. <laughs> just the two of you, the dynamic duo. The dynamic duo that Talon and Connor hope doesn't exist. Because <laughs> if we exist, they have more problems to deal with than they want. Let's see. Let me double check this. Yeah, this works well enough. Oh yeah, that's right, I was getting red things. 400 of them. Okay, let me turn my fan down because I don't know if you guys can hear all of the wind that's happening semi-consistently. I can't. I cannot. You cannot? Oh, okay. In that case, I won't bother. Oh, boy. Oh, by the way, Kyle, I DM'd you a question. Oh, neat. To which account? <laughs> uh, the one you're currently in the Discord All right. on. I have Got placed Zhang in here. Alrighty, I thank you. We this. made him the best I could remember, given <laughs> my tools. Alrighty. Oh, you didn't have him say? It did, but it was weird. It doesn't. Ha it didn't have like 100% of the details. Oh, okay. Yeah. Approximations still work. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows how to legitimately play Factorio, they're gonna hate me. <laughs> what? If anyone knows how to legitimately play Factorio, they're gonna hate me.
because I am currently using the most inefficient setup possible. Alright, hold up, I gotta click. Uh shoot. Let's see, and now that it's on my mind, let me double check Lothric, because I genuinely don't remember what potions you had after that. I know I had a bag of LSD. Wait, really? I vaguely remember that. Was it from the tower? Yes. Shoot, I got okay. five minutes. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Alright, in that case, could you answer the question within those five minutes? Ahem. Look. Look? There we go. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, I have a question. For Gay. I have a Hold fork. On. And I'm trying to trifect the pork, the fork with three elements. What were the three? Because I remember fire and ice. Fire, ice, and the third one we have yet to do anything with. Alrighty. Oh god, that's a good line. What is? Hacky sack the cat for science. Where's that one? What? <laughs> Alright, I got four minutes. It's a... It's a video. I don't remember what... What... Country hmm. did it. But they were testing in a zero-G environment how different animals were, like, reacted or adapted. Hmm. And one of them was cats. Alrighty. The whole they always land on their feet thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's because they can rotate themselves midair, but when uh, zero G is introduced, they they just flail they about, right? Too fast, or they can't rotate at all. So they start, oh no! They start like almost. It looks like they're almost spasming because they're trying to do that rollover. So they burst basically turn into a helicopter, or no? Not necessarily. They they could, I guess. But one of the cats slowly started hmm. getting towards the ground, and in, and in order to uh, get him back off the ground, the guy caught it with his foot and just pushed up a little. Like he didn't kick it or anything, because <laughs> it was zero g. So he just put his foot, right put his foot out and landed on his foot, and then he pushed up and and it floated up and uh, eventually knocked off the ceiling. So the the top comment was he hacky sacked the cat for science, and that's <laughs> that's a great line. That's amazing. So, uh, Gabe, I had some questions about the gods. Uh, yeah. So I originally wrote Grunch as m the god of my character. Uh, Who but was I'm not sure if he actually exists in your world. So... Could you give me a list of gods that existed? That exist? The problem with that is all of my notes about gods were in my notebook. Uh oh which were left with all of my books and dice and everything. All However, right. <clears throat> I might have a Google document with it. Let's see. Timelines, ideas, character lists. Um, thoughts in general. Oh no, that was not what I thought it was. Okay. Definition character sheet, a resume. All right, let's see if what I can spaghetti God's this. God's name was this one. Current location, dark cave, final room, missions get crystal number one, combat status, maybe, Xanderoth wants to kill world, killed bear, got crystal, killed Steve, and three other orcs. I don't... 
Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, that was in a different campaign. Modern. That was in Scott's that campaign. Was Scott's I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, Either by the way, that? Hmm? Talon has decided to know. Alright, so... Connor? What god in general would you want to be following there? Because I remember a few of them, but it's been a very there. long time. He's definitely muted. Yeah, I heard his sister call his name and then he muted, so he might be... Yeah. Do you remember the name he said? Because I can just Google it. Rumpsh. Rumpsh? Uh, let me, let me try and Google it. The closest thing I have is Ruma Q. How would you spell that? Uh, uh. Hmm? There you go. Oh, Grumpsh. Okay. Back at a step away from my stuff. Alrighty. So did you find out about the gods? Hold on, I'm in the process of looking for it. Is there... Alright, think about it from a watered-down Greek god context. What would you want your worshipped god to be? Oh shoot, you I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Alright, see you around left.